and welcome back to the PBIS Rewards Discovery Series. Let's quickly review workplace rewards for teachers from the administrative level. From our home screen, we can easily access workplace rewards for teachers by selecting teacher rewards. From here, it will pull up our home screen. In the upper left-hand corner, there is a hamburger. When we click here, it's going to give us the option to manage users, manage points, or manage organization. Let's start with manage users. From here, we can edit any of our users or adjust the balance of their points. Let's go back to the home screen by selecting here. Again, we can click on that hamburger and we're gonna select manage points. Here, we can go in and edit any points that are available or add new points definitions by selecting the plus. We would then enter the name of this point type. We would add how many points are available for that point type and even a display order if you would like. Down here is where we select the school value that meets that point structure. I do wanna let you all know that you can select one item and it can be used for two different values. For example, I can show this in respectful and show this in responsible. Be sure to select show it in the list so your staff can see that and select save when you are adding new point definitions. Let's go back to our home screen. Again, we're gonna click on that hamburger and select manage organization. From this screen, there are many options available. Up in the upper left-hand corner, you have organizational information that can be edited. Then our points definition import and school values. These school values are how your team will receive points from workplace rewards. You can change the order here in these boxes or make them active or inactive by selecting the boxes here. At the bottom, you will have approval options. If you're ever confused, you can always click on that little eye and it will give you information about what these mean. Individual approvers mean that you have one person that will approve all things workplace rewards. Approval groups means that you've selected a group of people that will help out in approving. Finally, no approver means that anything that goes into the system will go directly in. We also can manage our email notifications. In this section, you're gonna select boxes that you want for notification purposes. For example, if there's a wall post notification, this will email me to let me know that someone has posted something to the wall. You can also do that with recommendation notifications, users not logging in, or opt out of notifications altogether and select save. Finally, you have your header display options. This is where you can go to change your logo or organization name. Just to be clear, you can upload your logo by selecting this option right here and putting your logo into the system. Going back to our home screen, we will select groups. When we select groups, it's gonna give us two different options, employee groups or approval groups. When we select employee groups, it's going to show you how your staff is grouped together. You can always add new groups here or adjust the groups you have down here. Next, we will look at approval groups. This is the group of people that you may give administrative rights to so that they can approve points in workplace rewards. Let's go back to our home screen. From our home screen, we're gonna now select redeem. When we select, select redeem, it's gonna give us an option to do stores, events, auctions, or raffles. From our store option, you can edit your store and add items that your staff can purchase. Now let's look at events. 
This works very similar to how it works in the PBIS reward system. You can add events here and they will show up in your calendar. Again, looking back in this redeem queue, we can go to auctions and raffles and add those in as well. Let's finally look here at actions. When we select actions, there are a few options available for administrators. We can view our point definitions, approvals, purchases, look at reports, gauge your activity, and workflows. Let's look at approvals. When we select approvals right here, it's going to give us options that are available to be approved. Here we can see that Amy Smith has tried to receive points for being prepared. We can confirm that by pressing the check or deny it by pressing the X. Let's go ahead and approve this for Amy Smith. Next, we can click back on actions and review purchases. Here we will see that Amy Smith is trying to purchase spirit wear with her points. Once we deliver that to her, we can select deliver and these notifications will go away. Thank you for joining us today to review workplace rewards for teachers from the administrative level. We hope you've enjoyed our discovery series. Thank you.